Hello and welcome to our how to sessions. In this session, we'll learn about Active Directory integration with SSO. Active Directory is one of the most popular identity provider services used among enterprises. Enterprises going Google preferred to keep their existing Active Directory for authentication. With Active Directory integration with SSO feature in G-Control, you can achieve this for your organization. To use this feature, you need to have an SSO server machine hosted within the enterprise network with a network public IP and Tomcat 7.0 or above and JDK 1.7 or above installed on it. To configure AD with SSO feature, there are three steps that you need to be followed. First, prepare your setup with the SSO server machine before or after configuring the policy for this feature. Download the G-Control AD communicator. Shut down the Tomcat server if it is on. Paste the downloaded file in the web app folder of Tomcat server. Second step is to register your Active Directory. Third step is to create a policy for Active Directory authentication. Now we will see how to configure Active Directory integration with SSO feature. Access G Control from Google App Admin Console. Click on Apps, then More Apps, and then on G Control. You will be automatically redirected to the G-Control dashboard. On the left pane, click on Category Identity, then Directory. After doing so, you can click on Register ED button as it will be shown. After clicking on Register ED button, in order to download the communicator, Click on the link and download the communicator. Shut down your Tomcat server if it is on and paste the file in the web app folder in the Tomcat server. The same step can be followed after configuring the policy as well. To register Active Directory, click on Register AD button. Select Type of your Active Directory. In case if you have on-premise Active Directory, select on-premise Active Directory and fill in all the attributes regarding Active Directory and SSO server machine that is hosted in your enterprise network. In case if you have Azure Active Directory, select Azure Active Directory and follow the configuration steps. Click on Save to save the settings. Now you can create policy for this feature. Click on Add Policy button and on doing so, you will be redirected to the policy page. Well, now that you have clicked on Add Policy button, you can go ahead and give a title and description for the policy. Select your registered Active Directory from the drop-down list. Click this checkbox to enable Active Directory. Click this checkbox to sync Google Apps password with Active Directory. Check this checkbox to enable Windows authentication. Please select the policy type. Note that policy types once selected cannot be changed. To add users to the policy, click on Add User button. In case of multiple users, you can upload a CSV file by clicking on Import CSV button. Check this checkbox to add all the domain users to the same policy. The policy type can be organizational based or, or user based. And you can select the particular organization from the tree chart as shown below. Following these steps, you can click on save to save the policy. Thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to seeing you in our next session.